Okay, hello, this is how to control net, um, where I teach how to control net without too much detail and messing around. Okay, uh, in order to do this, you're going to need the default workflow. You're going to need a load image node and an upscale node. And the upscale is to set the source image to the same size as the empty latent image, because it must be the same size. And we are going to drag this out and we're going to add the node preprocessors canny. This is the default node that comes with ComfyUI. And we're going to run a preview image so you can see what it does. If we run it really quickly, you'll see it creates a bunch of lines for us to use. And the reason we do that is when we load control net control net apply uh, we need an image input and that image input has to be certain things based on what this control net model is so control net model loader and we can choose what it wants what it's looking for essentially to control with and so I'm going to be using the pre-trained Kenny model with this and in order to make it apply to things it's simply using the, con the conditioning line so we plug the conditioning through it to a case sample this could be anywhere in your workflow and if we run it at one, it should give us an approximation of the control net lines, as you can see. They're pretty close. Now there's another option we have, which is to run depth. So if we run Midas depth approximation, which is another preprocessor, we can load this in. It does require the model to work with it. And then we plug the image in and then we make sure this model is set to a depth model and make sure your control net is uh, the same kind of model as your main model or it is possibly not going to work uh, sdxl it will throw errors you need sdxl um, control nets for that kind of thing okay and now if we apply this it should you as a similar image and it may be slightly lower quality actually well, it will take a while, a bit longer to process with the depth image than with the line image with the candy one. But as you can see, it has approximated again. Generally speaking, I find that the depth ones work in certain circumstances, but in other circumstances, like when there's fog and stuff like that, uh, it'll have trouble figuring out where things are in relation. So. Uh, this is how you set up ControlNet. Hopefully it is of use to you. Thank you for watching.